Hi there, welcome back to the Flask Mastery Series. So in this session we shall be diving deeper into the heart of Flask. So grab your favorite beverage, settle in, and let's explore the world of Flask. So before we get started, this is a quick overview of what shall be covered throughout the entire session. First of all, we shall understand what Flask is. We shall later on look at its merits and demerits. We shall later on dive into its standout features and we shall also understand the applications of Flask. Flask is a lightweight and extensible web framework for Python. It is designed to be simple and easy to use, making it a popular choice for building web applications and APIs. So Flask provides the essential tools and features needed for web development while always allowing developers the flexibility to choose additional libraries and tools based on their specific requirements. So this makes Flask a micro framework in a way that it does not rely on particular libraries to function. So by default, Flask is built on Jinja 2 which acts as its template engine and it always relies on the web server gateway interface which acts as a standardized interface between the web servers and the web applications that are always built in Python. Alright, so let's look at the advantages of Flask. Well, Flask is known for its simplicity and its ease of use. That makes it a popular choice for developers who are always interested in working on simple projects and those who are new to the web development community since Flask is a lightweight framework. When it comes to flexibility, Flask does not rely on external libraries to perform its tasks. It has its own set of tools and technologies that help us work with the web applications. So there are cases whereby we shall be installing third-party libraries. For example, if we wanted to work with authentication and authorization, we shall be working with the Flask login library to help us handle that. Well, Flask is a lightweight web server gateway interface web application framework because it is independent of the external libraries and it gives a quick start for web development that has complex applications. When it comes to Flask having an active community, Flask has a large community of developers. This means that there are numerous resources available such as the Flask documentation, tutorials and forums. So whenever you encounter issues or have questions, there is always a good chance that someone within the community has actually faced similar challenges and they can always provide guidance. So while Flask is a popular and widely used web framework for Python, it may not be the ideal choice for every project. So the fact that it is a micro framework, this simplicity can be an advantage to medium-sized projects which might become a limitation for larger and complex projects or applications that always require built-in features and more extensive frameworks. So in addition, Flask has limited built-in features. For example, by default, it does not come with features for database management. So most of the times you shall have to install third-party libraries like Flask SQL Alchemy for database management interactions. And when it comes to scalability concerns, Flask might not provide all the necessary tools and conversions for handling the complexities of large web applications and highly scalable web applications. So for highly scalable projects, developers might consider more feature-rich frameworks. Alright, let's summarize this session with the applications of Flask. Flask can be used to build smaller e-commerce websites with features like product listings, the shopping carts, and the checkout processes. Flask can also be a great choice for building personal or the professional portfolio websites where one can showcase their skills and projects. You can also use Flask to build RESTful APIs for various purposes like mobile app backend integration, and you can also integrate it with the external services or prov providing data to single page applications. Flask can also be used to create 
the simple projects for beginners, for example, the to-do list applications where you can create, edit, delete. Thank you for having joined me in this introduction to Flask. Remember, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Flask has a vibrant community and there are quite a lot of resources out there to help you explore its features and its capabilities. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content and hit that notification bell to stay tuned.